Luke 10, verses 38 through 42. As Jesus and the disciples continued on their way to Jerusalem, they came to a certain village where a woman named Martha welcomed him into her home. Her sister Mary sat at the Lord's feet, listening to what he taught. But Martha was distracted by the big dinner she was preparing. She came to Jesus and said, Lord, doesn't it seem unfair to you that my sister just sits here while I do all the work? Tell her to come and help me. But the Lord said to her, My dear Martha, you are worried and upset over all these details. There's only one thing worth being concerned about. Mary has discovered it and will not be taken away from her. I don't know if there's a better illustration that highlights a major flaw as to how people approach life leading up to retirement. Just as Martha's desire to serve got in the way of her spending time and learning from the most important person she would ever meet in her life, the same thing can happen to people preparing for retirement. They spend so much time getting ready for it that they neglect the other things that are gonna be most important to their success during it. They work extra hours, save, sacrifice, miss family functions. They're too tired to go to the gym and put their marriage or other relationships on the back burner, hoping that once they retire, they'll be able to restore it all. That's not always how it works. Just because you're retired and now have the time to commit to it, doesn't mean that other people will be able to reciprocate in the same way. The big question here isn't whether you're going to be like Martha or Mary, but rather understanding that you need to find a balance between listening and laboring, and of course, giving priority to your walk with God. Almighty Father, please help me avoid neglecting important things and strike a better balance with many people, places, and things you've put into my life.